Welcome back to Peppers Unplugged, and I'm Don Peppers. A couple of weeks ago, I attended a motivation show in Chicago, which is a big trade show. Uh, companies come to show the services and products that they sell to other companies, largely to give pri as prizes to their salespeople, their management teams, and so forth, to engage them in their work. And increasingly, the, the whole idea of engagement is, a, is an important concept in business. It's become very important as technology has continued to undermine hierarchies for a couple of reasons. Number one, the lowliest employee can now leap the hierarchy in a click. Uh, but number two, all those tasks that are routine and, and straightforward, most of those tasks can be automated. And the result is that the employees that are left at a company are largely doing two or three or four management jobs at one time. And those jobs are the jobs that require creativity, judgment, intuition, you know, empathy. You can, you can automate, for instance, you can automate how a uh, sales call is reported and recorded, uh, but no computer is ever going to be able to look into a prospect's eye and de decide whether it's the right time or not to bring up the next uh, product for sale. So the question of employee engagement as well as customer engagement has become really critical for businesses. In fact, the Peppers and Rogers Group, uh, along with several other companies, has co-founded an alliance called the Enterprise Engagement Alliance, and they sponsored my talk at the Motivation Show. But before I gave my talk, I, I wandered the trade show floor. I, I took a look at some of the, uh, the people there who were visiting. Uh, I uh, interviewed an exhibitor, um, and then you'll hear a little snippet of my talk. So uh, here's an attendee. Here is Jim Coolis with uh, Straight Up Inc. Hi, Jim. Don Peppers here. Good nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you. And uh, so you're attending the Motivation Show for what purpose? What are you trying to do? Well, we're looking for ideas for a continuity program that we do every year. Oh, yeah. Customers are just trying to find the new ideas. Okay, so it's basically a place where you can stimulate your brain uh, yes. and see what's out there. See what's out there. See what the trends are. Right. It's any, more about uh, trends any, than anything. Have you been here? Were you here yesterday? No. Oh, just so today. you just started today. So you just don't have today. any good ideas yet. No good ideas. <laughs> a little camera would be really a nice idea. <laughs> So all sorts of exhibitors here, and whoa, here's Mark Conroy, president of Region 7 Seas Cruises. Hey, Mark, how, hey, are, how are you? you? Fine, how about yourself? Very good, been, been pretty well, been pretty well. Uh, you're an exhibitor here. Yes, we are. We've, we've been in the show since the start of the company. And uh, so here's your booth, and uh, what do you... What do, you, what do you get from a motivation show? What do you get? What do you do here? Well, the whole idea here is it brings in a lot of buyers and sellers and puts them together. So we have an opportunity to see a lot of people that we don't see on a regular basis, maybe talk to on the phone, and also introduce our company to, to potential buyers. People put programs together on our ships, either full ship charters or small groups. Like and for salespeople, for sales people, to motivate them, and what else? Programs. Yeah, motivation programs. Yeah, it's dealer programs, they're very big. Uh, a rep programs so again at typically different levels of programs since we're a luxury cruise line we typically go into the more high-end dealer program that sort of thing right and so you're here in like there's a cruise section and there's some of your competitors are here right uh, what do you think sets uh, region 7 seas apart if you could just... I think we're probably the most inclusive luxury cruise line that there is so when a guest gets on board uh, we include short excursions, alcohol, and everything else. The only thing they really spend money on is the spa, uh, gift shops, and, and the casino. All right, all right. So what happens is, uh, uh, it, you know, potential customers come here, and then they sit at the desks here. And um, do you actually do you actually do any deals here at yeah, your we, booth? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we, we sometimes do, or at least we get all the specifications. And then typically our policy is to have a, uh, if we put a quote out the same day that they come in and inquire. So it, it really is a pretty efficient process. Right, great. So here are a couple of attendees here. Hi, I'm Don Peppers, and you are? Oh, this is oh Don, Don Peppers. Peppers. You're the one that's doing <laughs> the uh, luncheon. Right. I am. We're I'm doing a luncheon speech. Luncheon. See, I couldn't mm -hmm. have... We I, this are is attending you your, we folks. This is totally random. This is a, a random setup. encounter. It was a setup, and she said, well, <laughs> "I like thought you were the name like Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'll edit Enough this down. All right. Yeah. I want to know about you guys. Um, so, why did you come to the motivation show? What are you trying to get out of it? Either way. So you're going to collaborate on your answer, we like figure out what to say? We always collaborate. The power of two. We went to a <laughs> session yesterday. Yes. 
uh, on the power of two. Really? Um, on relationships? Like collaboration? Yeah. yeah. And was it good? It was very good. Do you remember who did that session? Um, I don't remember the gentleman's name. Um, was he a uh, vendor? Oh or? Uh, he wrote the book, The Power of the Two. The Power of Two. Cool. Um, San Sanderson? Okay. Rod Sanderson. I'll have to get it. Rod. I'll have to get it. Rod yes. or Ron? Okay, okay, so power of two, power of two. Okay. What are you trying to get out of the show? Why are you here? We are here. Our university has sent us here. What we university are, is that? I'm Purdue sorry. University, Calumet. Purdue. Okay. Uh, in northwest Indiana. Yeah. Um, we have about 1,200 employees, and we're looking at recognition programs that work, um, that are cost effective, um, that help us and senior leadership understand sure. how recognition can work in an organization such as about the way customers create value. If you become a customer-centric marketer and you want to maximize the value each customer creates, think of it this way. You are optimizing your business around a particular customer. And I don't know of any business out there that puts a website up or a call center up or any sort of interactive uh, vehicle for reaching individual customers at all that doesn't come face-to-face -face with the question of optimization. You know, what is the right message for this customer when they come to the website because I can make it different than from that customer or that customer. How do I... Now I might position this problem in terms of optimizing around the customer uh, and that almost sounds like a software problem but you have to think about that carefully because you can't write a line of code or a business process rule that requires employees to delight customers. Employees have to want to delight customers. They have to be engaged and increasingly, increasingly, that's, a, that's an indispensable skill at companies.